Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Circle Time. Um, I hope you guys all had a good weekend and you're ready for some fun today. Um, as always, I have some books, I have a craft, I have some fun songs to sing, some rhymes to do with some motions. Um, so hopefully that will be something really fun to do today and cheer you up on this really, really rainy day. Oh my goodness. It is so rainy and so windy. I thought I might blow away when I was trying to get to the library today, but luckily I didn't. That would be really strange if I blew away. I'd be like Mary Poppins. Um, so we're just going to wait a second or two, give a couple people a chance to log in. I see a couple people already here. Hi guys. Just a reminder, I can see the comments. Um, so if you want to drop a comment, let me know you're here. I would love to know who's here. Um, but since it is so rainy and disgusting today, I thought that I would maybe make our day a little bit better. We're still gonna do some rain stuff, but I have some fun rain stuff that we're gonna do. I have some fun books about being in the rain. I have some songs and some rhymes about the rain. And then we're gonna do a fun craft about the rain. And I think maybe that'll make our rainy day a little bit better. So we're just gonna hang for maybe one more second or two. Hi guys, I see that there's a couple people logged in. Hello, welcome everybody. How are you holding up on this really disgusting day? Luckily, it sounds like it's only gonna be today. I think the sun may be out tomorrow. So we have that to look forward to. We just have to put up with it for today and then we'll have a nice good day for the rest of the week, hopefully. So um, I see a bunch of people are here, so let's get started. Um, again, just a reminder, I can see the comments if you um, put them in while I'm live. So if you wanna go ahead and drop a comment, let me know that you're here. I would love to know who of my friends are here today. So why don't we first get started with a fun little rhyme. So this one I'm gonna back up a little bit for because I'm gonna stamp my feet. Hopefully you guys can hear that. I know you can't see all the way down to the floor to my feet and I'm sorry. But, so this one we're gonna stamp our feet. So we're gonna stamp our feet and when I say, um, we're gonna run on the spot, um, we're gonna clap, and then we're gonna have our umbrella, okay? So, down come the rain drops, splash, splash, splash. Let's run for cover, dash, dash, dash. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, drip, drip, drop. I'm under my umbrella until the raindrops stop. What do you think? Let's do that again. So down come the raindrops, splash, splash, splash. Let's run for cover, dash, dash, dash. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, drip, drip, drop. I'm under my umbrella until the raindrops stop. Oh my goodness. I definitely had my umbrella out this morning when I came into the library, so I hope you guys did. If you guys have to have to have to go anywhere today, I hope you have an umbrella and a raincoat and maybe some rain boots. I didn't have any rain boots. My sneakers got all wet. So, but it happens, they'll dry. So let's go ahead and read our first book. So this book is called In the Rain with, with oh my goodness. <laughs> In the Rain with Baby Duck. So, In the Rain with Baby Duck by Amy Hest and illustrated by Jill Barton. Pit pat, pit a pat, pit a pat a pat. Oh, the rain came down. It poured and poured. Baby Duck was mad. She did not like walking in the rain, but it was Pancake Sunday, a duck family tradition, and Baby loved pancakes. And she loved Grandpa, who was waiting on the other side of town. Pit pat, pit a pat, pit a pat pat. Follow us, step lively, Mr. and Mrs. Duck. Left the house arm in arm. Wet feet, wailed Baby. Don't dally, dear, don't drag behind, called Mr. Duck. Wet face, pouted Baby. Water in my eyes. Mrs. Duck pranced along. See how the rain rolls off your back? Mud, muttered Baby. Mud, mud, mud. Don't dawdle, dear. Don't lag behind. Mr. and Mrs. Duck skipped ahead. 
they waddled, they shimmied, they hopped in all the puddles. Baby dawdled, she dallied and pouted and dragged behind. She's not having a good day. She sang a little song. I do not like the rain one bit, splashing down my neck, baby feathers soaking wet. I do not like this mean old day. Are you singing, called Mr. or Mrs. Duck. What a fine thing to do in the rain. Baby stopped singing. Grandpa was waiting at the front door. He put his arm around Baby. Wet feet, he asked. Yes, Baby said. Wet face, Grandpa asked. Yes, Baby said. Mud, Grandpa asked. Yes, said Baby. Mud, mud, mud. I'm afraid the rain makes Baby cranky, clucked Mr. Duck. I've never heard of a duck who doesn't like rain, worried Mrs. Duck. Is that a fact? Grandpa kissed Baby's cheeks. Grandpa took Baby's hands. Come with me, Baby. They went upstairs to the attic. We are looking for a tall green bag. Can you guys see a tall green bag anywhere? I don't know, maybe it's over there. Finally, they found it. Inside was a beautiful red umbrella. There were matching boots, too. These used to be your mother's, Grandpa whispered, a long time ago. She was a baby duck who did not like the rain. Baby opened the umbrella. The boots were just the right size. Baby and Grandpa marched downstairs. My boots, cried Mrs. Duck, and my bunny umbrella. No, said Baby, mine. You look lovely, said Mrs. Duck. Can you guys see that there's little bunnies in baskets on the umbrella and she's got her little bunny boots? Mr. Duck put a platter of pancakes on the table. After that, Baby and Grandpa went outside. Pit pat, pit a pat, pit a pit a pat. Oh, the rain came down. It poured and poured. Baby Duck and Grandpa walked arm in arm in the rain. They waddled, they shimmied, they hopped in all the puddles. And Baby Duck sang a new song. I really like the rain a lot, splashing my umbrella. Big red boots on baby feet. I really love this rainy day. The end. Grandpa knew what he was doing, didn't he? Grandpas often know what they're doing. But now Baby Duck has learned to like the rain if she has the right equipment, right? So like if you guys need to go out today, you guys are probably gonna have your umbrellas and a jacket or something with a hood and maybe even some boots. So let's see, we did that one. Why don't we do a quick rhyme um, let's do, because I have a couple here to choose from. There's lots of rhymes on rain. So let's do this one. So we're going to do drip drop rain on my head, drip drop rain on my head, rain falls down to the ground, drip drop rain on my head. And then where's it go? It's going to go to our shoulders. Drip drop rain on our shoulders, on my shoulders. Drip drop rain on my shoulders. Rain falls down on the ground. Drip drop rain on my shoulders. And then we're gonna do drip drop rain on my tummy. You guys can't see my tummy. Let's do that, there we go. Drip drop rain on my tummy. Drip drop rain on my tummy. Rain falls down on the ground. Drip drop rain on my tummy. And now this guy's, this one you guys can't see, but I'm gonna do it on my toes. And I know you guys all have your toes with you today, right? So we're gonna go drip drop rain on my toes, drip drop rain on my toes. Rain falls down to the ground, drip drop rain on my toes. My goodness, my toes would be all wet. So let me just click do that. Move over here. There we go. Okay. 
Oops. There we go. All right, so let's do our next story. Our next story is called Caddy Jane Who Hated the Rain. Oops, there we go. Caddy Jane Who Hated the Rain, written and illustrated by Valerie Gorbachev. Caddy Jane did not like rainy days. They were gray and dreary and wet. Here's Caddy Jane. Why don't we read a book until the rain stops, said Mama, or we could play a game. Would you like a cookie? I just baked some. No, thank you, said Caddy Jane. I don't want any cookies. I don't want to read or play a game. It's no use trying to cheer me up. I can't do anything when it's raining. Which is so sad. What a shame, said Mama. Oh, look, your friends are here. Maybe Piggy and Froggy and Goose can help you feel better. Hello, Mrs. Cat. Hi, Caddy Jane. Isn't this a wonderful rainstorm? Wonderful, said Caddy Jane. It's terrible. I hate the rain. Please come in, kids, said Mama. I love the rain, said Piggy. I love taking a walk under my big, beautiful umbrella. I love wearing my pretty raincoat and matching boots. I see Piggy there with her umbrella and her raincoat and her boots. Not me, said Caddy Jane. I can't stand getting wet. I love to stroll on the bridge and watch the raindrops splash into the river, said Froggy. They make such a beautiful picture on the water. See the raindrops splashing on the river? Not me, said Caddy Jane. I don't like being outside when it rains. I love to dance and sing in the rain, said Goose. I'm not even afraid of thunder and lightning. I'm afraid of thunder and lightning even when I'm inside, said Caddy Jane. Who would like some cookies, asked Mama. Yum, thanks, said Piggy. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's have a rainy day party right here in the house. Then Caddy Jane won't have to worry about getting wet. A rainy day party, said Caddy Jane. What's that? It's a party with cookies and umbrellas and dancing. It'll be fun. I don't know if I would like that, said Caddy Jane. I know a game we can play at our party, said Froggy. We can pretend to be raindrops splashing into the raindrops river. But what about the thunder and lightning, asked Caddy Jane. No problem, said Goose. Froggy and I will play music and you can dance. We'll make so much noise you won't hear the thunder. We can close the curtains so you won't see the lightning, said Piggy. Well, I do like to dance, said Caddy Jane. Soon they were having so much fun that Caddy Jane forgot all about the rain. See Caddy Jane there dancing with her umbrella? Look! The rain has stopped, cried Froggy. Now we can play outside. Hooray, shouted the others. Let's go. Let's splash through the puddles, cried Piggy. Whee! Piggy took off her boots and now she's splashing through the puddles. Oh my goodness. That looks like a lot of fun. Oh no, said Caddy Jane. I don't like getting wet. But... I do love a rainy day party. So what is she doing to not get wet? She's got her raincoat and she's got her boots. And she's out half splashing in the puddles for a rainy day party. Maybe once it stops raining, you can go out with your grown-up's permission and splash in a puddle. You have to see. Um, let's see. Let's do one more rhyme. I have one more fun rhyme about the rain and then we'll do our little craft for today, okay? So, we're gonna do raindrops, raindrops, falling all around, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Um, 
Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm sorry. Something keeps popping up on my phone and I wasn't sure what it was. Um, let's try that again. So raindrops, raindrops falling all around. Pitter patter, pitter patter, and I'm tapping on the table. Pitter patter, pitter patter on the rooftops. Pitter patter, pitter patter on the ground. Here's my umbrella. It will keep me dry. When I go walking in the rain, I hold it up high. Can you guys see my umbrella way up high? Let's do that one again so we can do it all in one go, okay? So raindrops, raindrops falling all around. Pitter patter, pitter patter on the rooftops. Pitter patter on the ground. Here is my umbrella. It will keep me dry. When I go walking in the rain, I hold it up so high. Alrighty. So much fun. So hopefully I'm making your rainy day a little bit better. So let me kind of shuffle things around and I'm gonna quick flip my camera so you guys can see the table because now we're gonna do a fun craft. So the craft we're gonna to do today is we're going to make a fun rain cloud. So here's my cloud and then here's all my raindrops hanging from it. There we go, you guys see that? So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this today. All right, so the, the, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a paper plate and this paper plate we cut in half, so you only need half of it. Um, if you're gonna cut, so some scissors. Um, make sure you have your grown-ups help with the scissors. If you have a hole punch, a hole punch is a good idea. Um, if you don't have a hole punch, you, your grown-up can help you use the scissors to make some holes um, along the bottom here. A pencil will work, glue stick, um, cotton balls, you know these things. They're big and soft and fluffy and lots of fun. So, so we've got some cotton balls. If you have some yarn or some string or some ribbon, you're gonna need some of that. I have, I found some blue ribbon today to use. Um, you're gonna need some kind of heavy duty white paper. And, and this is where you guys get to be creative. I found some watercolors today. So I used my watercolors to color in. If you guys have watercolors at home and your, your grown up is there to help you and says it's okay, you guys can use some paint or you can use crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you guys have at your house that your grown ups say that you can use, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna draw some raindrop shapes. Oops, I always do that, I always bump the table. So for just for today, I'm gonna to make six. You guys can make as many as you want, but however many raindrops you make, you need to make that many holes um, along the bottom of your paper plate, okay? So I'm gonna just do, let's do four. I'm just gonna draw some raindrops. So that's two. And if you want, you can look online and find a template for some raindrops. But I always think it's fun to kind of make up what you, what you think your raindrops might look like. So I'll hold this closer so you guys can see. Um, so there's all my raindrops. There they are. <laughs> so there's my raindrops. So now I'm going to take my watercolors and I'm all prepared. If you guys see, I've got paper towels so that I'm not going to make a big mess and I'm going to paint very carefully. Okay, so if you guys use paint, be very, very careful. Also be careful if you're using something else. But here's my water, because these are my watercolors. So here's my brush. So what I'm gonna do now is I made four raindrops. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna paint my raindrops. So I'm just gonna use blue, because that's what I color I think my raindrops are gonna be today. If you guys wanna cre get creative, you can make all kinds of different color raindrops if you want. But um, I'm just gonna kind of paint over my raindrops. So I'm gonna make that one like all blue. You guys can make like stripes. So if I make it light on the bottom and then get a little bit more paint, I can make like some stripes. Um, if you get some paint, you can dab it. You can make a fun little dabby raindrop. 
That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So you guys can experiment with all different kinds of ways to put the paint on the paper. It doesn't have to be all the same. So this one, I'm gonna start off dark. And I'm gonna let it go to really light. So I've got a whole blue one, I've got a speckledy one, I've got a striped one, and I've got a faded one. So that's all I need to do. I'm gonna put my paintbrush back in the water and put that over here someplace safe so I don't knock it over. I closed up my paint, so I'm not gonna make a mess with that. And I'm gonna put that out of the way too. So now what I'm gonna do with my raindrops, I'm gonna let them dry a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna put them over here. And now I'm gonna come back to my half a paper plate, which is gonna be my cloud. So here again is where you guys get to be creative. You just, if you just wanna leave it like that, you can. Um, I like to cut out a cloud shape. So I'm just gonna make some kind of, some like random bumps, because clouds are all like randomly bumpy and lumpy, but so soft and squishy looking too, huh? So have your, make sure you um, have your growing up help you with this. You, if you want, you can draw your cloud on and then um, cut it out. I was just doing it freehand. So now that kind of looks like a cloud, right? So next thing we need is we need our glue and our cotton balls. So you can work a little bit, actually, I'm sorry, before we do that real quick, just to make sure it helps with the glue. I have my hole punch, or if you have your grown-ups help with the scissors, your, your grown-up can help you punch some holes with the scissors. I'm just gonna, I made four raindrops, so that means I'm gonna need four holes. So one, I'm stuck, oh no, there we go. Two, three, and Four. There we go. Okay. So this way we don't get glue all over the hole punch. So now working a little bit at a time because you don't want to put glue everywhere and make a mess. And if you need to, you can always put some paper towel down so that you don't get glue on the table and make it all sticky. So you rub some glue on one part of your cloud. Get your cotton balls. And these are cotton balls that actually I cut up into smaller pieces. Um, because these were giant cotton balls. So if you want to use giant cotton balls, you can if you want to cut them up a little bit. So you can just stick them on if you want to kind of spread them out a little bit. Make it look really fluffy, you can do that too. But stick them everywhere that there's glue. And then as you go along, you just add a little bit more glue until eventually we're going to have the whole thing covered. Spread this one out, spread that one out, because I like it to look really soft and fluffy. Oh, need more glue. So this one takes a little bit to get all of the, the um, cotton balls on there. Oh no! <laughs> I'm working really, really fast so I can show you guys all of the steps. You guys can take your time and really be creative with your clouds, okay? You don't have to work as fast as Miss Emily is working today. I just want to make sure that I have time to show you how it all comes together. And I'll put one more right there. And then there we go. Put my lid back on my glue so it doesn't get stuck. And then there's my cloud. So we're going to let that sit for just a second and let some of that glue dry. We're going to take our ribbon or our string or our yarn and how many pieces, how many raindrops did we make? Do you guys remember? We made four. So I need four pieces of string or yarn or ribbon or whatever you have. Um, and you kind of want them to be a little bit of different lengths. So maybe you want one really long one, you want one kind of medium, and then this one I made kind of short. So you can see the difference between a short one, here's my short one, yeah, it's so curly. So here's my short one, and then here's my long one. Oh my goodness, it's so long I can't even get, there we go. So that's a lot longer than my short one, huh? That's another maybe kind of a short one, and then a medium. So once we have our pieces, 
Um, what you can do is take, I have cotton balls all stuck to me. I'm gonna look like the abominable snowman when I'm done. There we go. Yeah. Okay, sorry guys. So we're gonna take um, our string or our ribbon right now and remember those holes we made in the bottom of our cloud. We made sure that we didn't kind of cover them up too much. We're gonna put the, our ribbon through those holes and then we're gonna tie a little knot just to make sure that it stays. Just gotta tie a knot and then kind of straighten it out a smidge. This ribbon is curling ribbon, so it's never gonna be very straight. If you guys use like string or yarn, it'll probably be straighter. But here's number two going in. So many ribbons all over the place. And if you guys are not sure how to tie yet, have your grown up show you. This is a good way to practice making knots and tying so that when you're ready to start tying your shoes, you may be, um, you'll be ready to. So, lots of fun things to do with this craft. You can practice short and long and practice tying and you can practice counting. All fun things to do on such a rainy day. And this one's being stubborn, there we go. So, one more knot. So that's three, I have one more to go. Quick, get in there. There we go. And then number four. There we go. Oh, that one went easy. Okay. There we go. So now I have all my ribbon hanging off of my cloud. So now I need some raindrops for my cloud. So I'm going to come back over here to my raindrops. Hopefully they're dry. And now if you guys can see, you can still see the shapes of where I drew the raindrops. I kind of painted over the shape. Um, so now I'm going to cut out on those lines. You can still see them through the paint. That's the nice thing about watercolors. Or if you just wanted to paint a whole piece of paper and then cut out your raindrop shapes, you could do that too. You could draw, once the paint dried, you could draw on top of the paint the shape you wanted to make and then cut it out that. You can make some really neat raindrops that way. Um, I just didn't have all of the paint to do that today. But with your grown-up's help, cut out those raindrops. Yeah. And I really, really, if you're gonna use like watercolor or paint, I really recommend using at least construction paper, if not some heavier paper. Um, it gets a little floppy. This is construction paper and it's a little bit floppy. So real quick, number two, or I'm sorry, number three. Yeah, Miss Emily needs to practice her counting. This is my stripey raindrop. Look how cool that looks. I think that looks really cool. All right, and then one more, I have my dark to light raindrop. Give it a quick cut out. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna move my trash to the side, make sure I clean that all up when I'm all done. But here's my raindrop. So I have my stripey raindrop, I have my speckledy raindrop, I have my dark to light raindrop. Oops, dark to light, you guys can't, it's hard to see, but it is blue all the way down to the bottom. And then I just have kind of a, an all blue raindrop. So here's my four raindrops. Here's my cloud. So you might want to get your piece of, of um, paper towel back out again. And we're going to take our, actually let's turn our cloud upside down. And it's probably not going to matter actually. So you don't have to. <laughs> you would think Miss Emily would know what she's doing. So if you pick a side of your raindrop and you see, because I used um, a thinner paper, my colors went through. So it's kind of colored on both sides. So it doesn't even matter what size you use. I have my glue stick again. I'm just gonna put one line of glue down the middle of the raindrop. And then I'm gonna take my ribbon or my yarn or my string. I'm gonna do this this way so you guys can see. And I'm gonna lay it down on the back and give it a little, little press. So there's one, and now I have my other raindrop, my speckledy raindrop. So now I'm gonna find ribbon number two, 
put a line of glue, stick that on, give it a press. So that's two. Here's raindrop number three. Uh, I need ribbon number three. There it is. This curly ribbon is so crazy. It's all over the place. A line of glue, ribbon number three. I'm gonna stick it on, give it a press. And then last, oops, we got raindrop number four. I'm like moving away from you guys. Raindrop number four and ribbon number four and line of glue number four and press number four. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna quick do that, get some of the glue off my fingers. So now really you wanna let this sit a little bit and let the glue dry just to make sure you don't lose your raindrops. But then when you pick it up, it's kind of hard to see, but now you have your raindrops. Here's all your raindrops hanging from your cloud. And if you want, you can even put a hole in the top of your cloud and put some ribbon through there. And then you could, if your grown-ups have a good place for you to be able to hang up your rain cloud, you can hang up your rain cloud. But there we go. There's our rain cloud with our raindrops. How cool is that? And I only did four raindrops because I only have a little bit of time. You guys can do as many raindrops as you want. You could do like as many holes as you could fit across the bottom of the, of the cloud. That's so cool. All right, guys. Well, that is it for me. I'm going to get the glue off the table so my rain cloud doesn't stick. And then I'm going to tilt my camera up so that you can see me again. Thank you all so, so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope I made your rainy, miserable day just a little bit better, even though we were talking about the rain. Um, but we found some ways to make the rain fun. So if you guys do go out today, please make sure you have a hood and your umbrellas and maybe later go splashing in some puddles. Check with your grown-ups first. Don't just go and do that, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you next week. Have a good one. Stay dry. Bye-bye.